Okay, let's just try... Let's just pretend that last run didn't work. We, uh, we gotta go back. Again. Uh, again. Anyway. Uh, let's see, how many hours do you actually have, have put in this game? Uh, this, I think, is what? My fourth hour? Something like that? I haven't actu actually played too much about it. Fifth. Fifth hour, give or take. It's probably rounding up at this point. I'd probably say that run was flaming difficult. The the fire is nice. <laughs> Train has a net nasty right hook. Yeah, it does. So I've got the hook mech, the boulder mech, and the lightning mech. So I actually have base damage, so I can do this one again and we can break the dam. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep chucking myself at Archive Incorporated. Oh good, we have artillery support. Helpful. Okay. So... This is probably gonna go badly. We'll see how this goes. So I've got a grappling hook. Which lets me do some things. Now, if I... If I move here and hit this guy... I might have to immediately reset the timeline, but I wanted to check this. Does does my lightning hit buildings? No, it looks like it only includes dudes. And nothing more. So let's undo move. But it looks like it will hit my own units. Yeah, I'll have to look at, uh, into the lightning mechs upgrades. So I'm just gonna move... Rocky here. Hmm. Okay, so let's undo every move. So I've got a little artillery thing that I can use if I, if I want to. But who? I could use it to kill the, the Leaper back here. Okay, yeah. So here's what we're going to do. You're gonna come over here. Lightning whip this guy. Does not break the building, cool. Rock mech. Gonna come here, drop a rock straight on him. You're gonna move here, and hit those two, okay. And then we only have a grappling hook right now on this guy. We'll see how this goes. Action available, let's do, never mind. Let's have him move right here. I'm gonna grapple my lightning mech closer. The grapple mech seems kind of like a weak link, though. Grappling hooks are actually really, really good, and I'll show you why in a. I'll show you why in a second. Hmm. So I gotta spread my mechs out because what I could do is just kill everything, but I don't want to do that. I got a rock I can just lob on one of these guys. Let's move the artillery mech away. It's not going to be helpful for this. So now I can easily just drop a rock on this guy's face. Or I could drop a rock there. Unfortunately, my... I got three turns. I could do something stupid. So I'd only do one damage to my grapple tank, because my dr grapple tank has an armor bonus. I didn't I didn't realize it, but it it has natural armor. Weapon damage to the, this unit reduced by one. So that actually makes the grapple tank really good. That 
I just wish I could drop it a little bit early or something. Because I could drop a rock to stop a spawn. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's take a little bit of damage. And that'll be fine. Because currently I can't do anything anyway. Please don't move too far. Just stand right next to each other. Ah, come on. Well... You know, grand scheme of things, that works. So that's just the blood ones. So I'm just going to bring him here. I think I'm just going to drop a rock, kill that guy. And then I don't, I don't really know where I want to put this guy. Probably here. Make a wall. Use my artillery. Hey, what can I do? I'm gonna artillery that spot. It'd be nice if you could break tiles or something. But you can't. Okay. So what do we got? Well, I got that bug. Alternatively, I've got both of these guys. Okay, so what we want to do in that case is drop a rock on this guy. By lightning the two of them, they both die. And then I can just drop a rock on that dude. And no more spawns, nothing to worry about. Actions available, I have nothing I can do or want to do. Yeah, the battle mech also has battle armor. Well, it's really the leader that has the extra armor, but yes. Okay, so that already just feels better. Defensive shields active. Block Vex spawning three times. Well, that's actually really easy to do with this one. What the hell are these things? What is this? Old Earth Mine. Any unit that stops on this space will trigger the mine and be killed. Oh. So I can't stop on them. But I can knock them around. <laughs> well then, that was uh different. And that's not going to hit the mines. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just going to move him there. And then I'm going to do nothing else because land mines. Okay, so how do we do this? I'd like to push this guy... Well, no. I gotta, I gotta block with a rock. So let's keep rock blocking things. I think it's the same dude that I'm rock blocking here. I guess I'll just kill that guy. Move here. Uh, end turn. Sure, what else am I gonna do? I really... I like these landmines. They, this is by far probably one of my favorite uh, battlefields I've ever fought on. So how do we deal with this? Because he can't move. I gotta drop another rock. He does three damage, so he's actually only gonna do two. Otherwise, I could move. Or I could just not block one spawn. No. I gotta block one more spawn here.
Yeah, so I can electric kill both of these guys, but I want to be able to block a spawn. What I could do is... Move here. Rock this guy. Kills him, pushes him back. Move here. We already know my uh we already know my grappling tank can deal with it, so it's not a big deal. I I love how my grappling tank is just a sacrificial uh lamb. Cause yeah, no more enemies were are gonna spawn after this turn, right? Nope. They are going to, going to spawn. Okay, well, that's not a problem. Oh yeah, none more were going to spawn, so I did pick a good time for that. Because I, I knew I had to block a spawn, otherwise I wasn't going to, going to get the bonus. End turn! Go step on a landmine! Let's not do that. Can you grapple mines, though? No, it didn't look like I could. Okay. Defend the trade. No, destroy the dam. Take less than three grid damage. That I can do. That I can do with uh, Reckless Abandon this time around. Okay, so I want to put mech here. Grapple mech here. Him there. For once, I would like to be the one to attack first. Be lovely. Okay. So I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Well. Break the dam. Unfortunately, he can't move now. Which means... I'm going to block a spawn. But that's okay. Because the Scarab only does one damage, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'll take one damage. But, uh... We'll be fine. Boop. Because, yeah, he's not going to do any damage. I don't know if blocking a spawn... Yeah, okay, so blocking a spawn does make us take damage. Surprising no one. Okay, so I'm going to move him backwards. We're going to drop a rock here. Knock him back one. Pull him there. And then I'm going to put him in position. Because he's going he's gonna to die from spawns. Actions available. Can't do anything anyway. Blech. Because, yeah, I, re I realized he was going to break my rock. I'm like, no, I need that rock for things. I need that rock for dastardly deeds. Oh, just line up for me. Damn it. Okay, they lined up for me. Let me see. Well, easiest and best option is probably just to kill both of these guys. Let me, let me think about other options. I'm probably going to have to just kill this guy. Yeah. I'm just going to have to kill him with rock. I'm just going to keep blocking spawn points. Whenever I can. The extra EXP is nice, but the less foes I have to deal with on a given round the better, and seeing as I've got a, a very pushy group. It doesn't seem so bad. Okay, so... One... Two... Does Grapple Mech gain any XP? Yeah, it does. Okay, I was curious about that. Because, yeah, it... 
That was actually a question I, I didn't have an answer for. Can, can a non-lethal mech gain EXP? And the answer is yes, somehow. I guess just for completing the missions. Oh yeah, that's that's why it's happening. So we probably want to do the library. Tidal waves, take, take less, yeah, that's fine by me. Okay. Pretty non-threatening initial wave. Oh, and we get a pod. Which we want. I'll probably use Grapple Mac for that one. Okay, let's see. So... Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Get the pot. Yep. Not much else I can do. Luckily, we got water hazards to work with. Okay, let me see this. I can move here. Move here. Just drop a rock on the mantis. Freeing him. Just lets me move here. Pull him forward one. That way he misses. And then I can just kill this guy. And we're good. And he'll block a he'll block a spawn. Which is what we need. A grapple bot will be good for pulling enemies into hazard zones. Sort of. The main problem with grapple bot is uh they would only end up just on the edge of the tidal zone. So it's not actually as good as you think it would be. Unfortunately. Okay, now the environment damage is going to be first. Okay, so if we pull this guy. That way he misses. I was hoping I could just kill him, but I don't think I'm going to be able to chuck him into the water. Unfortunately. Oh well. Oh, can't do. Well, when in doubt, kill the other guy. Whatever. Sometimes this is fine. Yeah, so the biggest problem we're, I'm looking at with this team is their damage isn't very good. So that could be a problem. We did get a promotion and a time pod, so what do we get? An ice generator. Freeze yourself and nearby tiles. And a reactor core. And extra mech, mech move and it's boss time. Okay, well... Unfortunately, stuff like Ice Generator is kind of limited. Yeah, freezing is a good panic shield. The main problem is it costs two power to even equip. Like, these mechs start with nothing. I have one core. And I don't really want to spend it on him. Building chain. Chain through buildings without causing damage? <gasps> I was afraid that I was going to just wreck buildings with it. But no, that's amazing. Okay, so I gotta gotta go this way. Destroy the Firefly Leader. Protect the Corporate Tower. Okay, so this guy legitimately is scary business. It's huge, so I can't knock it into the water.
luckily we've got a big river. Let's see, can you grapple yourself to the environment? I can grapple myself to buildings. That's about the maximum of what I can do. Okay. So how do we do this? Well... Okay, Hive Leader, massive. Massive units can walk in water, but water will prevent shooting. I think if you kill the leaders in these missions, all the other bugs flee at the end of the turn. I don't think they do, unfortunately. Okay, so I could kill both of these guys really quick. What I'd like to do is knock them backwards. So maybe what I can do... Yeah, it's too big to drown. It'd be hilarious if you could dump in the water. Thing is, I could dump it in the water and just start hitting it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kill both of these guys, because regeneration sucks. Oop. And, uh... Oop. Kinda wish the rock would, like, slow it down or something like that. Yeah, so I'm probably just going to keep the Firefly leader in, in water. Oh, good. I... Wow. That works out. Kinda. Okay, so... Scuttlebug's a problem. Hmm. I mean, I could always drop a rock to block. This looks like an amazing round for Zappy Do. Okay. So. I could bring him closer, zap all three of them, then drop a rock on the boss. My grappling tank will take a little bit of damage, but that's fine. Okay. Because, yeah, unfortunately, he can't move after shooting. Because, yeah, unfortunately we have conventional artillery, so there's nothing I can do to protect my my tank from harm. Okay, I just gotta get him out of the way. Okay, so that'll kill them. Kill him. Okay, yeah, life is good. We've only taken one damage. Yeah, I was tempted to try and use the rock to shove somebody around, uh, but it just, it wasn't going to pan out the way I wanted it to. Unfortunately. Luckily, it's not a problem. Okay. So, what do we got? What can I do? Well, smart thing to do, rescue operation. Second thing to do, probably just kill the mantis. We've only got one more round. We've only got three more guys. Chances are they're not going to do anything particularly dastardly to me in the meantime. To be honest, Grappling Tank is a lot more useful than he thought it would be. Yeah, it's one of those where you think Grappling Tank's going to be kind of awful, but it turns out to be kind of amazing. Oh, well, this is awesome. Hello! Hello! It also helps that my base damage is a little higher than usual. Uh, let me see. Friendship God. Oh, doesn't work. Friend no target available. Well, end turn. I guess no friendship gun, but that's fine. But yeah, Grapple is a star player last game on just a normal tank. We need to get my, my Grapple tank something a little bit better. But it is really handy. Okay, so we get... 
Prospero. Mech gains flying. A powerful projectile that causes damage to the shooter as well as the target. Or power and grid defense. Um... So I could boost my I could boost my grid defense by four. Does a flying mech mean it can shoot when in over water? <gasps> okay, let's get Prospero. I just realized what Prospero is. One, we want to unlock every character. Two, get out of here, Nora Patel. Hello, Prospero. Okay, the pilot is a sentient machine and requires reactor power to activate a special ability. So we gotta go get one reactor power. Imagine, everybody, a flying grappling tank that can just pull people into pits. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. So what else do we got? Frost beam, science class weapon. Um, it's pretty good. Costs a lot of power. Oh, uses per battle though. One. Gemini missiles. Range class, range class. So, rocket artillery. Pushing artillery creates smoke behind the shooter. Okay. Gemini missiles are kind of okay. Wind torrent. Push all... No. I don't know, actually. Like, I, I could probably get rid of Nora Patel, but I'm, I'm probably going to save Nora Patel for when I need something. I think I might just get two reactor cores... Because we don't have a science class ship, so the frost beam is expensive. So, two reactor power, and then just up my power grid, probably? Let's see, do we need energy yet? Yes, actually, you always need energy. Yeah, let's get the let's get the two reactor power. And yeah, let's just buff our grid defense by by 2%. The more I can buff, the uh easier my life is going to be. Okay, so let's go to him. Let's see shield ally move. Extra damage. We have the building chain. Life's going to get harder after this. But I want to make him fly. And then I think I might just spend it on this guy for movement speed. If I can get the extra damage, that'd be nice. It's 100% grid defense. Unfortunately, it caps out at a 25%, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, so let's leave Ida Island. Let's actually do Detritus Disposal. Last time I did it last, and it sucked. Doing it second is probably pretty good. Especially with acid pools and whatnot. So high threat detected. Destroy the acid vats. Protect the lab. Um, I could try it. I mean, worst comes to worst, we just start over. We abandon... Uh, we abandon Abusamu for Prospero. Just to see what his, uh, his nonsense is good. No trains. Uh, oh, yeah, geez, scratch the trains. Nanite Farms! Okay. Yeah, I totally forgot about trains. They might wreck that pod immediately. We'll see. Let me see how I can do this. So we've got a bunch of guys. He can fly, but he can't fly very far. If I can move this guy out of the way. So 
there anywhere else I can bring him? Because unfortunately, this spot is necessary. Because let me see. We have another interesting, interesting idea. I can destroy the acid vats real easy. All... I have to do is move. Okay. So I'm gonna move... What I want is actually to drag this guy in. Okay, this will work. So if I move him here, and then we go... Hmm. So the problem is these buildings are in major danger. Use the rock thrower on the mountain. What, this mountain? It's not going to do anything. I could use it there, but that's not going to do me any good. And I can't use it on this mountain because the uh, placement. So I can drag this guy out of the way. Yeah, so we could shock to infinity. Yeah, I got to break the vats. The main problem is, how do, I, how do I stop this guy from hitting these buildings? What I can do is I could... Uh, well, I mean, I could always just take the damage right now. That chain is actually ridiculous. Yes, it would kill almost, almost everything. Rock the Firefly. Okay. Yeah, not so happy about this. So I'm going to move him here. I'm going to put a rock right here. That'll block the shot. I'm going to need to save the lightning mech after this turn. Balls. Okay, we're just going to have to do it this way. Well, that gives me some options. Okay. If I had that shield generator, it'd be golden. I'm not entirely sure if dropping a time pod's gonna help. Unfortunately. Okay, who's got the attack order? Tits. Because I can grab this guy away, pull him here. I can rock him, and then pull him away anyway. But that'll destroy the... I, needed, I need movement speed here. Uh, otherwise, I can just do this. Because, yeah, I don't know if dropping a rock on the time pod is that dangerous. I can deal with the loss of power. Oh, 
I'll take a hit. I guess I might as well repair. Okay, we only lost one power. That's kind of good, at least. Okay. So... I can kill this guy. So I can kill this guy, pull this guy into the acid. And then probably drop a rock right on this guy, or something. Or, I could just drop a rock on him, but we'd have acid damage. Tank to chain the lightning damage. I could, but it's not going to help me that much. Because I can move right... Oh, no, I can't do that. After all. Let me think. Ah, oh, jeez. Too many hits. I mean, baseline, I should do this. Neither of these guys are going to die from a lightning, lightning Lash. Whereas I can kill this guy and harm this one. Wish it had knockback or something. I can... Rock those. Could I take the Hitman? You know, that's a good point, actually. Uh, I could just put somebody in this in the way here. Okay, so his acid armor is gone, but that's fine. Still got three turns left. This will have to do. It's weird that my flying dudes get affected by acid damage. Shouldn't. Okay, so we got a bombardier. We've got things. So how do we do this? And where can I move? Well, easy thing is, he's not he's not going to hit anybody dangerous. So if I move him here, and we grapple this guy in. And I move him there. I could dump a rock. It blocked the shot, but not the guy. Otherwise, I could move here. He misses. Okay, close enough. And then I could just lightning the two of these guys. Move there. I assume the... Oh. Crab only does... Doesn't do any damage. Let's grab the pod. And actually be in a... In a spot that I can fight back from. Because he misses and he doesn't do anything. Okay, so this is a bit of a mess. So that Firefly is not going to be able to do any damage. This guy is a legitimate issue. But 
What could I do? Could I do this? No. I was really hoping I could get it that it would wrap through him. But most of these guys are pretty useless. Yeah, so the bomber beetle is going for both of the buildings. So I can't really stop... Uh, no, I have to stop that, no matter what. So what it could do is... I could just bring the bomber beetle over here. A couple of different ways to do that. I mean, honestly, the bomber beetle... None of these guys, I think, are capable of hurting Electromech. So, move here, push Bomber Beetle this way. Okay, that pushes him. Now I could do this, but no, that would that'd kill my, my Zapper. Don't want to do. Move here. Pull this guy into the acid. Then Electro Mech is just going to kill the Hardened Armor. And he's gonna... Neither of these guys can can hurt him. Yeah, the extra armor on my shock mech is actually really helpful. Yeah, we had the armor scion, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, you know what? I could actually repair the acid now that I'm thinking... Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter, we win. And we get another power core. Two power cores. I was hoping for a weapon. But that's fine. So, extra movement on this guy might not be a bad idea. Otherwise, I could put both of them into the Lightning Mech, so he does 3 damage. Or both of them into the Boulder Mech, so the Boulder Mech does 2 damage. Or, 3 damage. But on one shot, yeah, it seems like getting it onto the Lightning Mech might be safer. Safer? Smarter? Because otherwise I could power like the uh, generator. We need damage, so I'm gonna I'm gonna install them both on this guy. Let's take off the movement speed and go with this. And heap kill four enemies inflicted with acid. Protect the coal plant. Do I try it? Or do we do no no train? I've just got to figure out. Oh. Well, this is easier. I've got an acid tank. That helps. Let's see, what does the grappling hook shield bonus do? The grappling hook shield bonus... Oh, well, that's helpful. The grappling hook shield bonus makes it so... Hmm. What can you do? Shoot, shoots a projectile, inflicts acid. So if I move... Him here... Acid that guy. Move him... Where exactly? Because if I do that, everything dies. Because I can't arbitrarily change it. Oh, but I, I have the rock mech. So I'm going to move him out. Oh, undo move. I'm going to move... shoot. I almost can't move him anywhere. Because, yeah, I can't let the acid tank die. They gotta get the grapple tank out of here. But where? There, there's nowhere directly safe. I guess what I could do... Move him here. And...
insta-gived a lot of these guys. Move here. Drop a rock on that guy, pushes him over. We are safe, and we have the grapple hook. Which I can't do anything. Oh, I could have grappled him to a building, maybe. Eh, whatever. I'd really like a game... Oh, well, that helps. I really want a gameplay mode for this. Let me think. So I can f knock this guy over again. I could... Let me think. So, I can knock this guy over here. I was hoping I'd be able to do something more with that. Because we knock him over here, we walk this guy here, we zap the three of them. Let's see, because we only do two damage. He does three now, so I could actually instigate this guy. Let's see, pull the bomber down. You know, that's a good point. Uh, I could pull him down, but I'm, I'm going to kill him. Yeah, let's just do this. So that knocks him over there. Oh, can't do that. Because effectively, I'm going to move right here and just zap these guys. Unless I can do anything else. Because I can't do that. I could pull the bomber down one, but that's not going to do me any good. Okay, so I'm just going to move him He Nope. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Move the acid tank here. Spit him. Move here. Zap these dudes. Because he can't move. Mostly trying to see if I can grapple myself anywhere useful. I mean, I could just take the damage, prevent a Vectus from spawning. Nah, let's go there. We got a straight shot to the acid pools anyway. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Let's move over here. Pull this guy here. He'll block a spawn. That's fine. This guy needs to die. How do I do? A little harder than I thought it was going to be. I could always reset the turn if I have to. No, I don't. I just have to figure out... It'd be lovely if I could link this chain. So what can I do? I can't move anything. Okay, so let's move here. Zap this guy to death. Move here in preparation. Acid this guy. Rock Blast him into oblivion. No more turns. 
And we've killed everything. Coal plant is protected, and there's only two enemies left. Uh, and they only get one reinforcement. Yeah. Okay. So this is really easy. I could probably just acid this guy and kill this guy. Now, I could just leave it at... I could just leave it at this. Or, I can... Undo that move. Move here. What's the range? Yes. Whee! Zoop! Straight into the acid. And he levels up. Nice! Okay, spawning units do damage past armor. Yeah, but at the same time, if I've got the health for it, it doesn't matter so much. Like, sometimes they'll just take it. So, extra reactor. Nice. I'll take that. So, let's, let's give him some movement speed. I was tempted to get the shield ally thing. But I think it's better this way. Okay.